Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Kaiser Rika Japan. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we are about, in 22 days, we're going to evade uh, this little guy down here. But we probably do want to send some more troops over there. Um, we do have the blue army coming down now, but is that enough? We do have some more troops we can deploy like through this army. And what, for right now, I think we are going to at least deploy two of them, even if I'm not going to send them to China right away. Just have them deploy in Tokyo. Uh, that should appear tomorrow. There we go. Then do not deploy anywhere. These tanks really don't have enough... Uh... Let's deploy everything. We'll split that in half. So we have two armies. And for right now, I think they are just going to kind of hang uh, uh, out. I think I want to get them too involved in any actual combat. So no subjects right now that can actually fight us on any steel. So I guess we'll trade with the CSA for now. Uh, and nobody here. So we'll just trade with, uh, you know, whoever we can. The CSA, I mean, they're looking pretty good. Because we, we do want the Pacific States to win the war overall. Uh, they're the only faction in the United States that can actually join up with the Japanese. Which would be nice for us, of course. Uh, we'll put you in charge. And for now, I guess we'll just send you into Northern. Got the Fending Clique. We'll put you guys into Korea. Then you can't... I, I, like Asian cities, are you in our faction? You're not, but you are friendly with us. We have ports over here. So you know what we're actually going to do? We're going to put... Uh, purple. And they'll put half of you guys here. Because I don't know, like, all of China could unify against us. We'll have to see. Uh, is there any other ports around here that we control? The answer seems like it's No. Apparently, a little supply is down here as well. Uh, six out of five. So the naval base is kind of bad. Okay, that's understandable. So we'll take you out of here for now. That's going to be your plan. We have 20 days. 20 days should be enough time for you guys to actually show up. You'll be there in three days. You'll be there in five days. The bulk of our army. Nine days. Okay, so no matter what, we should all be where we need to be. Question is, like, I'm not too sure who is... Like, who not cliques in a faction, of course. And then you're in your own little faction as well. Fighting government. You do like us. Plus 200. Guaranteed. Collaboration. We support them in the reclamation war. So hopefully, they will join our side when the time comes. If not, we might have some problems. Some slight problems. Okay, so modify requirements. Just for Air Force or for, like, tanks. How is our tank research going, by the way? Um, we do want to probably go going into the medium tank soon, so you might as well pick... Reliability... With that one, I think we want the Breakthrough. We get some more breakthrough on our medium tanks, and soon we can probably start pumping those out. Uh, whenever these, uh, I guess, concentrate industry three is research, we will research our medium tanks, and that should be good. Supplies here considered bad, but I, I think it's kind of okay. And Bulgaria has lost the war against Serbia. Not a huge surprise there. How many men do you have? Twenty-two to thirty-six divisions. That's not a ton. Right now, we have a lot of... Shit, we have to repair. Not fantastic. But what we can do is we can localize training centers. So I have played, this is after I streamed the Ireland campaign, that the localized training centers are actually really good. And they can provide some uh, good bonuses for us. Colonial Investments has uh, fished. Researching... Federal government does not exist, and then we can actually 
get close allies with uh, the Fanny government. Don't want to attack India quite yet. So, you know, let's integrate the greater Asian economy. See if we can actually turn these guys into just outright puppet states. Like, you're, you're a puppet state, yes. You're a puppet state. Vietnam's a puppet state. Other than that, I don't think anything else is at the moment. We also technically have Hawaii. Right now, they're in the International. We, yeah, we, we're a little bit worried. We don't want to fight the International quite yet. How's that war actually going, by the way? Uh, I would say probably poorly for the French. But we'll have to see. Uh, we do have some aircraft. How many planes do you think these guys have? I imagine not a ton. In fact, they have zero. So no matter what, we have air superiority. So let's take our air force. Uh, which is all the way up towards the north because we went to Vladivostok. What's the mother of southern China? Like, we actually have a bunch of planes we can start just kind of throwing into here. We will do afterwards. Only a level one port, really. Oh, I don't got place reserves. Manpower apparently is quite low, but like we should be fine. It's, we're missing 40,000 rifles, but I'm pretty sure that's probably all for, for garrison reinforcements, for division reinforcements. How are the... Um... They're a little bit upset with us in Germany, Stasia. There's a lot of resistance over there. Korea is fine. But we want to start suppressing... Yeah, let's uh, let's use local police forces. See if that gets some. Um, I mean, what do, do we have spies? Like, what are they doing? Right now, you're building an intelligence network in Java. Yeah, because we do have our volunteer forces here. I kind of forgot about those guys. I think as soon as our war begins, I mean, our volunteers are going to go back home, so they're not going to be able to do much. Yeah, there we go. So war has begun. The immediately actually are trying to push their way into here. Um, the Air Force should be looking good. We can actually combine these guys up. Is that like a 250 limit on these planes? 100 on you, so that's going to be 250. Uh, do we have any close air support? We do. So let's move over 100 of you guys. You're going to be close air support as well. And we can set you, because you're naval bombers, so set you up to 50. We'll put you into the ocean. I don't think we really need the planes there at all, but... Uh, Vietnam, I need you to join the war. In fact, I kind of need everybody just to join the war. Oh, so somebody just declared war. Oh, they you guys declared war on each other. Okay, I mean, that actually works out fine for us, I believe. So these guys have their negative 50% penalty? No, they don't. I know when the China update first came out, like every Chinese faction had like a billion penalties on it. It looks like they're a little bit better than they used to be. We should be fine there once we kind of expand our way out. I don't know what the Shaodong Cleese is going to do. Yeah, they called in Hunan, but that's not a surprise. How many troops does Hunan even have? 4 to 10. Okay, they are not... Anything to worry about. We're getting some progress made. You guys here, you can just attack as soon as the uh, opportunity arises. In fact, you can be very aggressive, I believe. Yeah, just do some naval bombing. It's, it should be fine. In fact, that probably doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Keep on pushing. In fact, Purple, you can also just push in general as well. I, I can't imagine this war is going to be too, too difficult. Yeah, 
assist him there. One of these cavalry divisions can kind of go capture this island. The question is, do I want purple to be very aggressive as well? I think the answer is a yes. I think we just want everybody being as aggressive as possible. Uh, I will take on your supplies, so thank you very much. And the legation cities... Hopefully we'll occupy the neutral zone uh, soon. And then join our faction and then be annexed by somebody who's a little bit more uh, useful for us. Yes, we'll do something like that. That looks good. Yeah, but unsurprisingly, they, they actually cannot stop our advances. It's, it's going pretty all right. For 95 war uh, supports, we don't really need to do this. I don't think we need to worry about most of this stuff. We're sending arms to you. I really don't care about getting the other people. Conquer China. Does not exist. We have a year to conquer them, which is... Gonna definitely happen. There's there's no doubt in my mind that we will not have these guys dead within the... Um, within the year. Please, okay, stop attacking for just a mere moment. Do something like that. Our volunteer forces have arrived home. Just throw you into um, the defense force for now. Probably can think of something else to do with you in the future. Did somebody else declared war on the government as well? Mongolia did for some reason? Not too sure why Mongolia would be getting involved here, but... You know, you do you. In fact, you guys probably need another battle plan. As soon as this one's done, you kind of just keep marching all the way up north. Great, Lisbon fell? Who took Lisbon? The British. A little bit surprising. Yeah, you guys just get back to the front lines. You go towards Gangzhou, and hopefully we can uh, get them capitulated sooner rather than later. Yeah, we have 345 days. I am not worried in the slightest. Um, I don't need to worry about any of this. Let's just get rid of that for now. Get some anti-partisans, because we have a lot of uh, territory under control that is... Not considered core. Let's just put it that way. Forty-five. We should be able to win here. Yeah, I mean, I there's. We're, we're we're doing fantastic. I don't actually know if Hunan. I and mean, they have lost a handful of men, so we might be able to get them annexed as well when the time comes. Okay, let's move you guys up. You can also move towards gangs out. Unfortunately, legation cities are kind of stalling on joining the war. Or not joining the war, but joining our faction. It'd be nice if they would get that done a little bit sooner. But unfortunately, they don't have much interest in getting that done. Yes, yeah, so we should be able to march our way into gangs out now. I think you're probably retreating back into it, but... Can I do some more stuff here? I can, so you know what? Artillery research, or is there anything else we want to do first? I mean, a research slot? I think we want a research slot right now. To be quite honest. Uh, we don't need to change conscription laws, so we can get rid of this for now. For the investments in um, the Hunter Political Power. Let's promote investment in Siam for now. Because Siam's a little bit better than Burma. For our economic future. The horses, oh, by the way, are still extremely long. 
Okay, Industry 3 is finished, so let us get our medium tanks uh, researched. There's technically slightly ahead of time, but honestly, it's not too bad. Now, Kang's on Fallen. We have gotten him down to 35%. Where's our new capital? It's all the way up to the north. Yeah, let's just march in this direction. You guys will march over here as well. We should win this battle. As soon as that battle won, we just keep marching over here. You are the left camp team, so you should be... We should be able to take over most of this. Like, pretty simply, I would say. Uh, what do we need? Is it still rifles? Rifles and light tanks. Most of our light tank production is going to go towards um, medium tanks very soon. Like, as soon as we actually get the research done. Because medium tanks are definitely better than light tanks. For sure. Ukraine has capitulated. What if you march over here instead? Is that enough for the capitulation? The answer is yes. So, we've already capitulated to you. We can actually take over both these areas now. Lovely. Um, I'm not going to give any territory to these guys for the obvious reason that I don't think they did anything. So, this is now all underneath our control. And now we immediately begin preparations for invasion of you. Uh, we will send... This 24 stack up to this guy, which is Tibet. Let's not worry about this for now. The fate of China. We can give it to our Fenian allies. Okay, so we'll give it to our allies there. I mean, they're not even in our faction quite yet, but I'm assuming as far as the game's concerned... They have claims on our territory. Oh, because this territory down to the Lords of the South. Okay. So we've apparently have conquered China. I really don't know if we did that much, but sure. We do have military access through you, so we'll at least keep our... Okay, we cannot keep our frontline troops here. Then we'll pull them back to this region. But now that you don't exist, we're actually going to immediately cancel this focus. I know we've been doing it, but I want to... Roots of Loyalty, right? Let me just, um... Yeah. Roots of Loyalty. It's only 35 days, and as soon as that's done, then we can get a research slot. So we can't do victory over Imperialism until we have Hawaii, uh, Batvia, Shanghai, I believe is... The Legation Cities. Jingzhou? I don't know where Jingzhou is. It's somewhere in China. But I don't know exactly where it is. But hopefully with this focus, they will be our friend. Also, just some investment in the Kingdom of Burma as well. Because, you know, puppets are nice. If we can get them to just become Japanese puppets, that seems to be in our best interest. Oh, we do actually have an extra agent we can recruit. So, who do we want to recruit? Actually, I don't think we want to recruit any of these people right now. I think we want to... Get a spy. We don't have any political power to get a spy from any of these other countries, though. Unfortunately... If anything, probably what we want to do is maybe get a... A Dutchies Indie spy and just kind of... Spy in this region. Because we're, we're going to need to go to war with the Reich's Pact over this territory... Sooner rather than later. At some point, the Bodian Commune, I imagine, is going to go to war with... I mean, Germany's already at war with the International and Russia, who's doing some good work against them. I mean, we already had target Dutchies Indies. Like, 65 days, 35 days to actually do a... Uh, 
a justification. But unfortunately, like, I can't just ally this dude. As much as I would like him to just join the faction, they'd rather be part of the Third International. Probably because the Third International is actually a War of the Reich's Pact, is my guess. But hopefully soon. Yeah, having Fetting Government on our side would be nice. Like, a massive China who's aligned towards our interest seems pretty good. Yeah, 10 more days until that is ready. So we probably what we want to do. Okay, so you are up towards the north. Delete your front line for now. How much supplies can I put into uh, 22? So I'm going to put you here. I'm going to change your color to be a color that we don't already have. So let's just say you can be the green army. Preparing for an invasion into Borneo. Aside from that, lead to your old orders. You're going to come into uh, Malaysia here. What have I done to this drawing? Yeah, you guys come down here. Because we need to prepare an invasion of Dutch East Indies. If we can actually just land, I think, troops into uh, that city. They should capitulate because they still have Bavadia. Strategic map mode. Uh, where are my ships? They're in Taiwan. They do need to start making their way down towards uh, Singapore. Because we are going to, need to invade you, like, rather quickly. What I want, I want China into our faction before I actually begin doing some uh, aggressive plays like that. Yeah, I'm surprised Russia is actually attacking Germany before they actually deal with the Elash Orda. Or most of their actual focuses. They're doing a pretty good job. Again, we want the Germans to be killed. For the obvious reasons that uh, it'll make our conquest of these areas a little bit easier. If I start justifying a war now. It takes 35 days. So, you know, we'll, we'll start justifying it. Just so we can be ready sooner. Becoming Order of Queen Wall, close allies. So I gave them more territory. Okay. Japanese envoy to the Princely Federation. Get some more claims. We can threaten Hawaii, but I don't want to be at war with the international. At least, like, not yet. So let's do our research. And I think with this uh, going as well as it is, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My second, if you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, Joey, close thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.